On September 25th, Raleigh police officers approached a 26-year-old woman at a gas station on St. Mary's Street, saying they suspected her of drunk driving. One officer searched her after she was handcuffed. Anything on you that I got to worry about? I don't have anything. Nothing that's going to poke a stick me. The woman's attorney, Karen Griffin, said she was appalled when she received the video from the district attorney's office as part of the evidence in the case. On the officer's body camera, you can see him unzip her jacket. Jesus I've never Christ. seen an officer touch my client's breasts. Jesus Christ. Shake them. I appreciate your cooperation. You got anything yes. in your pockets? No, I don't have anything. Then the officer <sighs> moved to the woman's shorts. First, he touched her backside. Can you face the car and yeah, step your feet absolutely. apart for me? What do you need? Step your feet apart for me. A little further. And that he made her turn and face the vehicle asked her to spread her Whoa. Legs then asked her to spread them first. Oh my god. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this guy's a fucking creep. If you're not seeing the video, he le he makes a girl face the car so her back is turned to him. He makes her spread her legs and then he taps, he rubs the inside of her legs and then literally does like a card swiping motion inside of VV or like outside like God almighty. The weird thing is, isn't he there with other police officers? Why weren't, Why didn't they intervene? Didn't they see what was happening? Why didn't they come in and be like, oi, relax, bro. What are you doing? Why was he allowed to do this? What, where are the brothers? Where is, where is his colleagues? Are they all on their phones? Further and ran his hand in between her legs. Are you probing for evidence, contraband, or a weapon? Pete Rubino was a police officer for 30 years and is now the vice president of the Carolina Safety Resource Group, which consults with law enforcement agencies. I've never seen an extensive search like that of somebody for a DWI. Rubino says it could come down to training. Wow. If that officer really believes it's reasonable to do that, he or she might need to look at procedures again. But Griffin is convinced it's about more than that. In your opinion, is this a sexual assault? Yes. I had no other opinion from the moment that I viewed it. Unfortunately, searches incident to arrest are invasive by their nature uh, in order to make sure that the officer is protected. It's a matter of officer safety. Wake County District Attorney. So it's looking like he might get off this. Again, police around the world are fucking wild, but American police might be, might be, might be the pinnacle. Because can you imagine this ever making sense that you need to like cup a woman's bum like this like to search her fucking backside like in this manner is there any need for it in the slightest like the way he runs his hands over her bum there's a bit where he grabs her breast and he's you can't really see it on the body cam but he's clearly shaking her breast and it's like bro if you want if we really want to see if she's got anything under her boobs i'm sure there's a way to do it where you do it with like the back of your hands with some level of dig giving the person some level of dignity while you're doing it also, I know, you know, you shouldn't be thinking about that because you're a police officer, but you sh there should be a way to kind of search somebody with the back of your hands and not fucking be cupping her boobs like you're her fucking gay best friend and shaking them up and down. That is madness, bro. And he's with his colleagues too. Look, it's not only him. That's him in there. He's with, not old, uh, look, he's with two other colleagues and they just let him what? This is what they do in recent. So, so maybe I'm, I'm assuming because they are because you guys i don't know why you have so many people maybe we have the same thing in america in the uk again because i don't drive maybe this is a common thing here too but for some reason you have a lot of people in america who love to like do drugs and get in front of a camera do drugs get behind the wheel i don't know why people love to do that whenever i'm i've done drugs or i'm doing drugs the last thing i want to do is be in front of a camera or being or be behind the wheel or even be on my fucking bicycle i want to be laying down i want to be in a chair somewhere sipping a drink listen to some music i don't want to be like you know have all this stimuli but for some reason there are some freaks out there that get behind the wheel with the first thing i wonder if this is a common thing with police because they're all fucked anyway the, the people they're stopping they're either drunk or they're high they're probably thinking most of them won't remember if they do remember it's going to be admissible in court because they're under the influence no one's going to take their testimony seriously unless there's body cam footage and if there is body cam footage you can still contest it <clears throat> Because technically you can say they were belligerent, they were drunk, they were sloppy. I was trying to protect myself as a police officer because I guess in, in again, I'm just speaking out loud. I don't know what I'm talking about here. But I would imagine in like police procedures, when a policeman stops you, <clears throat> their safety has now become the priority. 
like in that interactions they're the ones that are the the ones that should be looked they're the ones that should be looked after so if you if you pose a threat they need to neutralize you i think that's what happens in interactions i would assume so in this particular situation they they've identified somebody who might be a problem who might be a risk and then i guess in their heads what they're doing justifies them doing it because it's making sure that they're safe and that they can go home to their kids at night i'm assuming but fucking hell bro this guy was legitimately going fucking brazy like this particular bit is where like okay cool now you're like the fact that he's isolating her and taking her away somewhere away from fucking prying eyes is another thing he un the unzipping of the jacket the way he did it um camera you can see him unzip her jacket i've never seen an officer then i guess he gra he's grabbed like look, that's a full breast grab that's a full fucking breast grab right there he's shaking them shake them i appreciate your cooperation Got anything yes. in your pockets? And then he rubs her bum like four times. He rubs no, her bum I don't here. Have anything. Then rubs the her bum there. Moved to the woman's shorts. First, he touched her back. And then he makes her rubs. And then he makes her rub her. He makes rubs her bum again when he spits her legs off. Step your feet apart for me. <laughs> Step your feet apart for me. A little further. And that he made her turn and face the vehicle. <laughs> Honestly, this is insane. This is literally insane. And the thing is, he's not going to get any charges. I guarantee you this guy gets no punishment for this. Zero punishment. Like, he's literally running his hands in between her legs with his body cam on. It looks like a POV video, like, of you know, from a Zorn site. It's like, bruh, don't you have any composure? Aren't you aware that the little camera's on? <clears throat> Honestly, thank God for body cams. Imagine what police officers were getting away with before body cams. Can you believe that? Imagine what police officers were getting away with without body cams when body cams weren't around imagine what they were getting away with it must have been like do you know when criminals say oh i would love to have gone back to the 70s 80s 90s when cctv wasn't as prevalent or whatever or readily available and you could get away with doing crime right you can get away with getting you know get away with some fucking pre-audacious you know um thefts and whatever imagine what police were getting away with before body cams were introduced before smartphones became widespread, actually, because smartphones as well are another one, right? Some random person across the road could be filming you taking the piss out of somebody. But imagine, before smartphones and CCTV became accessible, police probably got away with so much shit, so much shit to probably get away with, because this is insane. Asked her to spread her legs apart, then asked her to spread them further and ran his hand in between her legs are you probing for evidence contraband or a weapon are you probing for nothing what what weapons are you going to find in between a puss like that i'm sure it does exist i'm sure there's some psycho women who do put guns up up and up their snatch but god almighty bro like honestly what a fucking psycho but yeah uh, police around the world absolutely corrupt absolutely horrible people um again procedurally doesn't make any sense will he get any rep you know will he get any consequences for his actions probably not because people are fucking awful